When people think of the game Quake, they think of classic first-person shooter gameplay that's been around for decades. It's a game that laid the foundation for modern first-person shooter multiplayer and single-player. Also with a, a great soundtrack, and yeah, there's very few first-person shooter games that really have as much of an impact as Quake did back in 1996-1997 when it first came out on PC and on consoles as well. Sega Saturn and whatnot came out around that time. But Quake has also enjoyed a very recent resurgence in popularity based on a remaster that came out very recently. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. But today we're going to go ahead and check out what it was like to install Quake on Windows 95 on a Pentium based computer back in the day and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun we're gonna be using uh, my original copy that I got back in the day or my family's copy so yeah I hope you have fun today let's go ahead and check it out and yeah I hope you are ready to experience some original Quake on Windows 95. We're gonna see how this runs on the computer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here. But before we do that, let me double check and see what kind of graphics card do we have in here? I forgot completely what we have. All right, we have an S3 Verge DX GX PCI graphics card with two megabytes of RAM. So definitely going to be an interesting um an interesting journey here but we also do have a creative sound blaster card in here and uh we also do have a pentium 200 megahertz cpu so hopefully it'll run the game pretty well but what's interesting about this game and we'll, we'll see in a minute but this game actually runs off of the cd for audio for music and everything so in order to do that, you actually, um, back when you were, you know, running games like this that had CD audio, you actually have to run a cable that goes from your CD-ROM drive to your audio card so that it can then take the CD audio and then bridge it to the sound card to then supply it. If you didn't do that, in a lot of cases, you wouldn't get the CD audio. So, which is interesting because the way this game is made, you, um, you know, you have the CD audio from, from the CD and a lot of the newer releases of this game, like the GOG version, I believe at some point you would install the game and the CD audio would not work because the game was looking for the CD to run the sound. So it's kind of interesting, but let's go ahead and install Quake. So which drive do we want to install it to? Yes, we want to install it to the C drive. Oh, I better have put in there. Uh, so the directory, we want to put it into games slash quake. Yep. All right. So let's install that. And first, we're going to try to run it from Windows. Okay. Welcome to the registered version 1.01 .01 of Quake. And yeah, this is my original CD of Quake from when when we got this as a family. <laughs> yes. Um, if you want to give your friends a shareware version 1.01 .01 version of Quake, it actually tells you how to do it. Please don't install this registered version on anyone else's machine. We worked very hard and uh, we worked very hard for long amounts of time to create this game and would appreciate your support. So this game, it tells us is uh, IBM PC compatible Pentium processor, highly recommended 486 DX for minimally required. So I think we're good there. Uh, we should be good on the RAM. And yes, CD drive, Windows 95. I think we hit it all. All right. So, all right, it's installing.
Prepare to enter Quake. Press any key. So yeah, the CD audio is absolutely working on this game. Yeah, so I went ahead and increased the brightness on here just because, yeah, it really did not show up very well on the monitor. <laughs> um, CD music volume, all right. So yeah, looks all right. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's start a single player game here. Crank up the audio. Yeah, I love how atmospheric this game is. That easy skill. Yeah, it runs pretty well. You know, I'd, let me see if I can change the resolution or the screen size, I should say. Okay, screen size. Kind of like older games, the the smaller the screen size, the the higher the frame rate, right? Generally speaking. So if you have a hard time running the game at a good frame rate, then you lower the screen size. But it, it lets you lower it to something ridiculous like that. <laughs> let's bring it back up. Then it gets you to the point where you can actually have the menu showing. You can have, you know, your ammo and everything. It still runs pretty well, yeah, for sure. Alright, well let's go a little bit bigger. You can go full screen there if you wanted to. I'll do classic. You can see the frame rate drops a little bit. Let's put on a little bit more. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Let's go and look at the fire. I'm gonna go easy. I'm gonna go easy on here. First episode. And yeah, you can use mouse movement as well, which is kind of interesting, but this is set to the arrow keys. So you can rebind the keys, but it's set to the classic arrow keys on here. Up, down, left, right. in here, but got the classic Quake experience running on Windows 95. Oh. I hate that part. Let's see up close, up close. Take a little damage, but it's okay. Low poly Quake in all of its glory. Yeah. 
That's the thing about using just the arrow keys to do all your aiming and stuff. Is that uh, it's not as precise at all versus mouse. You can use, you can do mouse like this. Okay, I've got mouse right now. But I need, I would need to rebind it to really take advantage of it. Cause you got, yeah, you got the mouse, and it's not strafing; it's looking. <laughs> Find the keys really quick. Also got video options. Okay, so we can crank up the resolution from 320 by 200 to a whopping 360 by 480. Let's see if that works. Oh, it's scrunched. Uh, yeah, let's let's do something else. 360 by 400. No, it's still all scrunched. That's a little bit better. 360 by 240. The monitor doesn't. It, it is fine with it, but the capture card was a little bit janky. Let's try 320. No, 480 doesn't like. That's a little better. No. Optimize controls. Walk forward. It's w. Back pedal. S. Uh, step left. A. And right. Except I rebound my jump key, jump and swim up. Yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better than what I'm used to. Modern, more modern sensibilities for aiming and controls. I remember uh, when I first played this game, I played it on a big old flight stick. Because that's what, that's what we had, is our joystick. <laughs> I also had a Gravis gamepad too, but that was more for like, I don't know, platformers. But yeah, that's a uh, very, very fun classic Quake on Windows 95, so... We've come a long way, haven't we? <laughs> but definitely, it's hard to beat the classics. So that was Quake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely an interesting install. Uh, nothing nothing too complicated at the time, but just to kind of note as well for the CD audio from Nine Inch Nails at the time, which actually, that, that got me into listening to Nine Inch Nails, which was pretty cool. But um, in order to hear the soundtrack, again, you had to have your CD-ROM audio cable plugged right into your sound card in order to get that uh, the benefit of the CD audio and until the remaster came out the uh, PC GOG release uh, good old games there were some there were some workarounds in order to do that because I don't believe the launch version of that with the CD soundtrack could actually be listened to unless you like put the, the disc image in there and did, did some some back-end work there so yeah, the only way up until the remaster you could hear the original soundtrack with the game was to, to kind of go around and do some community suggestions. So, um, but anyways, yeah, that was that was fun. It was great to relive all of the uh, the very <laughs> low resolution graphics and having to pump up that that brightness on there just to see it on my monitor. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun today in revisiting Quake. And yeah, if you haven't played it. And you want to check it out it should be on pretty much every storefront at this moment i think it's on steam gog on pc uh it's also on xbox as well i believe part of game pass if you have game pass ultimate it's on pc included with that it's also on console there's physical versions of that as well so lots of great ways to enjoy it i would say the best way to enjoy it right now is the new remaster right now that's probably the best way to experience it and play it and enjoy it so definitely definitely check it out if you haven't played quake 
which has really been one of the, the mainstays of the, the first person shooter genre that really built and paved the road away for games like Half-Life to actually jump on board. Because Half-Life, the original one was based on, the engine was based on the Quake 1 engine. Uh, so yeah, definitely an important game. It's still really fun. I think the soundtrack is still awesome. And yeah, I hope you have fun playing it. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Quake. Is that something that you played back in the day? Is that something that you recently played with the remaster? Have you checked it out yet? If you haven't, again, check it out. Uh, easiest way is Game Pass, because you don't have to pay anything else, but a lot of other ways to play it. So anyways, thank you so much for checking out this video. See you on the next video and game on. Oh, yeah.